Thanks, Goose. Get your boots on, dribblers. It's time for our annual football game showdown. Pro Evolution Soccer versus FIFA. Are you ready for kickoff? Ready, ready Darren. Guys, let's start with FIFA 16. And the tagline on the box this year is Play Beautiful. And there's one thing you can't deny about FIFA is that it is a beautifully presented game. Yeah, from the menus to the flashy replays and commentary, it's all super slick. The real question, though, is whether the gameplay has evolved enough to warrant buying it again this year. Uh, well, one of the most dramatic new features is the inclusion of all 12 women's national teams, uh, which is a first for the series. And the women's teams definitely feel different to play, don't they? Yeah, the women are a bit more nimble on their feet and their passing seems really zippy. What a fine save! And I have to say, it's super cool to see the Matildas finally get the recognition they deserve. Oh, fantastic goal and a fantastic time to get it. That could wrap it up. The game doesn't let you pit a women's team against a men's one, but overall, it's a great addition to the FIFA package. Another new feature is an ultimate team draft mode. Affirmative. Draft challenges you to build your team based on random draws of five superstar players for each position. You'll need to balance team chemistry with raw individual skill to find success. Yeah, it's a fun spin on the already popular ultimate team mode, but draft does require an entrance fee to play. Now, you can use FIFA points, which are a grind to earn, or you can pay real money. And I don't like seeing such an emphasis on micropayments. Yeah, if you would compare it to anything, I guess it would be Hearthstone's Arena, but it still feels a bit cash hungry. One small change to FIFA 16 that I think is a nice idea is the addition of an on-screen trainer. This basically teaches you to play the game, highlighting the button or move you should use in any given moment. By the keeper. And I think this will be great for newcomers. You mean noobs? Well, yes, but everyone has to start somewhere, Darren. All up, though, I think FIFA's showing its age a bit. And this is the same engine they've been using for years, and it's starting to feel a little stale. And you can almost feel EA Sports just running out of ideas. It, it was not the best. Yes, I do think it is time for a complete overhaul. Now the shot! The addition of women's teams is fantastic, and this is still a great package for football fans. Let's go! But really, I don't know if it's a step forward technically and gameplay-wise for the series. So I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. I'm giving it three rubber chickens. All right, let's check out FIFA's big rival, Pro Evolution Soccer 2016. Hit square. Really well taken goal. Now this is a game which has really taken a step up from its last instalment. PES 2016 has improvements all over the pitch with smooth passing, lovely animations, and really responsive player control. I agree, there's something really dynamic about it. It just feels next gen. I found I was seeing something different in every match I played. Fires from distance. Where FIFA can start to feel a bit samey, Pez feels unpredictable. A small touch I noticed is that your goal celebrations will change depending on where you run on the pitch. Like up to the corner flag, or behind the goal. Yeah, there's some nice attention to detail. Of course, Pez still lacks the official club licenses that FIFA has in space, and that commentary does get a bit repetitive. But the on-pitch action overcomes those flaws in time. The controls have a depth that makes the game blossom as soon as you learn its subtleties. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. I do think the referee is a bit too lenient, though. We can get away with some pretty crazy tackles. But I suppose that means less disruption to the fine flow of football. What are you giving it, Bajo? You know what, guys? I had more fun playing Pez than FIFA this year. And I think it's because it's had all the right tweaks in just the right places. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens. What about you, Hex? Well, in some ways, I think FIFA is more realistic, but Pez is just more fun fantasy. And, you know, I think fun trumps everything else this year, so I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. Now, I'm not wearing this referee's uniform just for show, you two. I have an actual soccer match to umpire. Ooh. Robot soccer. Oh, I'll see you later. Good luck, Darren. How exciting. Do you think Darren's the umpire because he can't kick the ball with his little, his little wheelie legs? Well, he'd be able to kick it with a base plate. Get trapped under there.